Jamal, thank you very much. Hurricane Delta coverage now. This is a live look at Lake Charles, Louisiana, where you can see obviously rain coming down and the wind is blowing. People all along the Gulf Coast are bracing as Delta is expected to soon make landfall. Trang Trong from our sister station in New Orleans is in Lake Charles now with more. There's a steady rain falling in Lake Charles, and it's been this way since 6 o'clock this morning. And as we've had through the day, we've noticed that the wind gusts are increasing, and we're getting stronger gusts of wind. This will all likely intensify as we move into the evening hours when Hurricane Delta is expected to make landfall in southwest Louisiana. Now, keep in mind, this region and this city got punished by Hurricane Laura just six weeks ago. Many of the homes, communities, and businesses are still in a fragile state of stability with tarps on roofs and debris piles on the ground. And those debris piles are causing concern for many local officials. They fear that those debris piles will only add to the number of projectiles that will be thrown in the air when the wind gusts pick up from Hurricane Delta. Thousands of people have evacuated ahead of the storm, and thousands are still displaced from the previous storm from Hurricane Laura. And now we're expecting another hit in this region by Hurricane Delta. Reporting in Lake Charles, Tan Trung, now back to you. 13 on your side, meteorologist Michael Behrens has been tracking the storm. He joins us now with more on its path. Michael, is this showing any signs of slowing down right now? You know, it has weakened a little bit from its peak intensity, but still very strong, very large storm system. You can see the eye of that storm, the center getting very close to southern Louisiana at this hour. Lots of heavy rain bands pushing all across the state. The winds coming with those as well. That eye not far from shore going to make landfall here in the next several hours in southern Louisiana and certainly going to bring lots of heavy impacts across the state. In fact, rainfall going to be one of the heaviest ones. You can see flash flow watches all the way up into Tennessee. There's already flash flood warnings along the coast and of course storm surge. Another fact that is going to come with this. Those areas in purple under storm surge warnings could have as much as nine plus feet of storm surge in areas and of course hurricane warnings extended to central portions of the state with tropical storm warnings extending all the way up into northeastern portions of the state when it comes to the winds with this system. Currently a category two. It was category three earlier today, but it still has gust up to 125 miles per hour as we track the path with this system. You can see those hurricane winds already starting to impact areas along the shore. Tropical storm force winds extending as far inland as Alexandria will track the path of this as we head toward nine o'clock, likely to be on shore by then, bringing possibly as strong as tropical storm conditions all the way up into northeastern portions of the state before pushing on out of the region. Of course, the rain, though, going to impact a large section of the country. You can see as much as seven, probably eight, nine inches of rain possible in some parts of the region from this system. Now, this area looks familiar. Like we said, there's the path from Laura that did go on shore just six weeks ago. This one very close to it with tropical storm or hurricane Delta. Usually we have several years between landfalls. In fact, over 10 in this particular part of the country, 13 to 14, only six weeks. That's certainly going to be a very well, unfortunate consequence for that part of the country. We've had nine landfalls in the country so far. This one would break that record with 10 as it comes on shore tonight.